Here with Andy Fisher after the 3 0 win over Leek Town. Andy, how do you think the game went today? Yeah, as, as expected. To be fair, um, I think I think they were they were physical, physical side. Um, you know, I don't think that the league table shows you know the quality that they have. We know all about Leek. They're sustained in this league. They're experienced. They know this division. Uh, with, you know, really really well so we knew it was going to be a really tough and physical game and, and that's exactly what it was um i think if we'd have taken our chances it might have been a bigger scoreline but league made it really difficult for us as expected yeah you mentioned there you know league was definitely a physical side today did that bring any sort of challenges that we faced at all no, i don't think so i think i, I think we, we we matched that we you know we knew it was going to be physical and we said we said to the players it was going to be physical we don't think it was going to be as straightforward as some of the games that we may have had at times um but I, it's the way it is now. People want to come here and beat us. You know, we, we are top of the table now, so it adds that extra, extra dimension to it. But it was nothing that we hadn't worked on throughout the week. There was a slight formation change for them that we, we weren't necessarily 100% prepared for, but we tweaked uh, very early on and acknowledged that. And, and, and the game was as it was, really. I think we created so many chances to, to put the game to bed in the first half, really. Yeah, you mentioned there all the chances that we created. Does that sort of frustrate for you to see them not being converted? Well, it was half time, uh, but, but it's, you know, it's better to be in that position and not come in at half time and go, actually, we've created very little. You know, um, and it kind of went on in, in the se second half, didn't it? In the first 10, 10, 15 minutes in the second half, we could have had another two or three. Um, but I think once, you know, some, sometimes psychologically it gets in your head a little bit and chances become a little bit tense and a little bit nervous. And I think that's what we wanted. And me and Mike said to him at half time, just relax. You know, you look tense when you're in front of goal, so calm yourselves down. You know, the, the good thing is we're one nil ahead again at half time, and we always have a good second half here at um, the War Memorial. So, you know, we, we were confident we were going to take the game to them, so and we did. And obviously today, you know, we don't want to speak too far ahead, but it puts us in a very, very good position in the league. Is it hard not to get sort of excited when you see that? Um, excited, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think we should be getting excited. Um, it's a long, long old, old season. Uh, if you'd have said to me we're going to be in this position. Um, in July, August, I'd have, I'd have ripped your hand off. But I think we've got to stay humble. I think if we get excited and too ahead of ourselves, I think we'll slip. Um, the fact of the matter is, what we've got to do is take each game as it comes. And what I've said to the players today is, you've got three games in eight, eight days. Let's 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 be nine points um, on those on those three after those three games, and that's where we're at. So that's one done, and we'll focus now on when we will bring its own different challenges, a, a difficult cha a challenge, travelling away in midweek. Um, it's always tough, isn't it? So we'll, we'll, we'll face that as we have done today and we will do the same against Lung Lung Eaton this time next week, see where we are. And then we're in a good good position, um, hopefully, and we can focus on the FA Cup, which is massive for this club and uh, a real big focus for us if we're in a good position in the league as well. Well, Andy, thanks for your time today and congratulations on thanks, the win. Steve. Thank you.